Hey yo, what's up guys? My name is Slappy. On today's video, we're gonna try the new double movement of K2's input. I've been trying K2's input, but the normal version, not the new version. As you can see, the normal version is pretty normal. You maybe know this version, but now we're gonna try the another new app of K2's input. Yes, I know that I don't make a video talking about K2's input, but I need to practice more because I don't know. I need to find the best configuration, but now I'm gonna see the new K2's input because it looks really nice so let's start with the video hey hey but after continue don't forget to use code slappy as you can see we have a lot of new skin and i will appreciate a lot if you use code slappy on any purchase that you did let's continue with the video okay now we need to install uh, the new k2 input so here you will find the new k2 input if you see it's the version 2.2 and as you can see it's really amazing you have a lot of new settings so we need to test okay so i'm gonna total it I already have the all, so I don't know if this can be different or I need to uninstall it or something. So I'm gonna tell that. Okay, here we have the new uh, k input, so I'm gonna install it, run. So as you can see, it's saying it's a software, blah, 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 so I'm gonna install it. Yes. So in the, the installation successfully complete, so I'm gonna launch. And let's see, where's the new, oh my god, the new... Okay, the new interface is really good. As you can see, you can switch uh, in colors if you want to black or white. Uh, let's see the settings. Run as administrator. That will be great if you run as administrator because it can works always. Now, the binds, as you can see, this is my binds. WASD. If you see the diagonal up, you can make it more lower or more higher. So I'm going to put uh, the normal one. I'm going to reset because it has, okay, 63%. That's the recommended. So I'm gonna click on apply it. As you can see, I'm not using the, the other one. So I'm going to game. As you see, it's really simple to use. As you can see here, it's showing you how to configure it. What you need to do is just unbind WASD keys and lock the input method as mouse. You just need to unbind the WASD and the input method you need to put on on. Okay, now we have here, as you can see, it's pretty normal. So we need to see how how we can put the, uh, the diagonal up and the diagonal down. I don't know how this works, the diagonal down, so let me see. Okay, now we have here, I'm gonna put the straight, the diagonal up, the more higher possible. Let me check. Okay, if you see, if you put the more higher, it won't let you do the thing, as you can see. So I'm gonna put like, let me check, uh, 50, uh, 51? Okay, that's the thing that you need to find the best config for you because on my case, I probably like this one, but you you probably doesn't. So you need to see that carefully, which is which one is the best for you. Okay, and for now it's really good, I say. Not bad. But what about if we can want to do the dumb thing? Uh, what about if I put the diagonal up on seventy? It will work still working yeah nice it's still working like i want let's go okay i want the character move like that you see but you can even see like that hold on 71 72 now it's okay still working perfect bro it's working like i want there's no way this is great okay it's really nice okay as you can see if i, I can go like that and do this Nice, 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 nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, what about the strafe angles? That's the thing. Let me check the strafe angle, what it does. I don't really know what strafe angles do. I think, oh, I think if you want to, okay, look, look. Strafe angles is really simple. Uh, if you want to go, uh, you see where like, if I move like this, I'm going like, I'm moving to my behind me. If you see, it's like, I'm moving. Uh, to my back so this straight angles make you move like behind me I mean I'm moving backward if I have the trace angles on 105% but if I have on 75 I'm gonna move straight as you can see I'm moving straight I mean I could handle that but because I don't used to I don't used to move uh, this way like this you can see I'm moving to my in front of me. I, I mean, I'm gonna pull 90. 
and the diagonal down. So I don't recommend to change nothing of that. I mean that you can what you can change is just the the diagonal up. That is when you are moving. Like as you can see if you nice bro, this is this is what I like. Look. Look what you can do. There's no way this is really good, bro. Because on the other one, on this, on K2 Simple, the version one, the thing is that you see the diagonal up is kinda weird. You don't understand too much of this. So that's the thing. This is really good than the other version. So, okay, in my case, I would recommend 72%. On my case, it's really good. I like it. If you see, I'm moving really good. And I don't I don't stop the running, as you can see. Because there are some that is that it don't run, so you just walk. But here is running, as you can see here. But there is some there is some settings that make you just walk. So in my case, I'm gonna use 72. So in my case, I will live on 72%. I'm gonna still try another different one, and when I have another good, and when I have another settings, I'm gonna try to upload another video about this. Uh, for now, it's one of the best. You don't need to pay, it's totally free. If you want this app, I'm gonna leave on the description. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I know that several of YouTubers already do this video, but I want to give my own opinion because uh, my settings are, let me show you one more time, 72% up, 90 and 135. And if I would recommend this, this app to use double movement, yeah, I would recommend because it works really good as you can see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to use code slap in the Fortnite item shop. And see you next time. Bye.